fairly simple operations. The roll across the bottom, I basically described it as like apps on your phone. So I got warning lights here. So I can turn all my warning lights on using this button. I can also come over here and tap the light to turn them on and off. Um, so there are uh, a bunch of one touch buttons on the steering wheel here. So I can turn my warning lights on and off. There they come off. I can also see lights. I'll go to that screen here real quick. So one button here, they all come on. Come over here and start isolating them if you want to. Situational awareness on this, I think, is pretty impressive. Um, just you got cameras everywhere. So in this case, uh, we don't have traditional mirrors. We only have the camera mirrors. Uh, this morning I was out here and I was actually in the other demo, so it was raining this morning. So I got out there. Of course, I had rain on the glass of the, the windows. I had rain on the mirror. So you're looking through all that rain or condensation and you don't have a clear image, but you look at this one, it's clear as can be, because so the lens is heated. So it just gives you a really nice image. It does have a <laughs> night vision feature, so it'll go into night vision. Um, a couple of the other things that uh, LA pointed out that they really like, if you think about traditional mirrors, the driver and the officer, right? So the officer's looking into his mirror, and I'm looking into the officer's mirror, we're actually seeing two different things, because we have a different field of vision. Whereas with the cameras, the officer knows that, okay, I should be seeing this because he's seeing it. So we're seeing the same exact thing. The other thing is just even sitting back there, you guys can see that as well. So if you're going to get out of the cab, you can take a quick look at this and say, okay, so our car is coming and obviously open the door safely. And of course, the other thing you got going for you is now we're stepping out of the cab versus coming down backwards and like, you know, obviously, you never know what's coming at you, especially on the interstate or you know the highway. Uh, 360 camera up here. Uh, it's really great for situational awareness, especially when I'm doing my crab walking, that type of stuff. And this is here's my front bumper. It's actually probably one of my favorite cameras on this truck. When you get in those tight situations, it's you know a lot of times it is a go or no go because I can't see my front bumper. And so there's a lot of times like if I wouldn't have that, I would definitely back up. And most of the time, this is telling me, you know, you got plenty of room, just go. I mean, we've all done it, right? It's like, you, know, you can't see it, so you just back up. Backup camera comes up there. If, when I do go in reverse, I also get a duplicate of this image on my screen right here. So it'll show up there as well. Full pump and roll capability. So if I'm pulling up to a car fire, I could go into attack mode. That's automatically gonna open up my tank to pump, uh, prime the pump if it needs it, and bring it up to pressure. So if I'm pulling up on a car fire, <clears throat> deploy this, I would hit start. It's gonna deploy my rough turret. And the way it works is anywhere this is pointed, so if my car fire is right there, I'll just go down like that. So it tells me exactly where my nose is pointed. If I need to conserve water, because um, I only have 500 gallons of water, it's gonna start at 100%, but I can use these buttons here. You could back this down from 100% to 75, 25 or 50 to 25. Fog and stream. It's like you pull up on a fire and you want to um, protect an exposure or something like that. I could hit this record button and then I take my joystick and I make one movement, whatever you can go up, down, left, right, whatever it is. Like that. And then I hit play and it's going to continue to make that movement back and forth, back and forth until I tell it to stop. Pull on the bottom side, it's, it's momentary. I go to the top side and lock it in so it'll keep it open continuously. Pull the re release, let's go on. So then again, I mean, I got plenty of room there, but I can see my front bumper. And then once I get about 15 mile an hour, this will automatically disengage. There's an electric motor on each of the front and the rear axle, so you always have all-wheel drive. The all-wheel steering, you do have to stop and engage it. Um, the regenerative braking, which you're just feeling, I'll show you a little bit more. Um, so there's three different settings on that. Personal preference, I always just leave it on the most aggressive setting. And you can feather your accelerator, so as I pull my foot off the accelerator, that brake will start to engage, and if I want more brake, then I just I uh, pull my, my foot off more. If I want less brake, I give a little bit of, I keep saying gas, but 
I am not sure the right word for that. Another thing about this, so I don't have a separate cabin body, this is a unibody architecture. So like even when I do this, I don't get a lot of that roll that I would normally get. I'm just being 92 and a half inches wide with no mirrors. You can do a lot more, like just even going in and out of that uh, this gate right here. Like if I had a commander 100 inches wide plus my mirrors, I mean, you'd be going so slow through there. Just the maneuverability, especially like just driving around the city streets right here. I mean, getting some of this two lane traffic, it, it's tight.